Okay, I hope this is working. Okay, I'm going to make this fast. This is after 10 years. I just replaced the pressure tank on this thing because this right here, you can see where I had to, I had to weld it. Uh, because uh, around here on the tank, this is the old old five gallon tank. I put a new one on here because when the pump would pulse, this tank would wiggle a little bit. And after 10 years, it finally cracked right around here. I had to weld it. I also replaced these valves right here with stainless steel. Because uh, the problem is, is water sits on top of these valves right here and then it, it freezes and breaks the brass valves. These are the old brass valves that I was using right here, the brass valves. Uh, I tried uh, tapping these out uh, so I could drain the water off of them. It didn't work. So what I did was I came to the conclusion, I just uh, I put these big valves on the end, these two inch valves, so I can clamp down on the water. So now there is water flowing past these valves and through the whole system so when it freezes and gets cold uh, I don't have to worry about anything freezing and you just shut these off right here I'm going to start the pumps in a minute here but I wanted to show you a few things please pardon my phone I'm all by myself these are those those Chinese valves you can buy them for five or six bucks online all day long on eBay they're no good here's what happens see this 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 lip right here there's a lip here I don't know if you can see it or not but there's a rubber washer in there that goes on the other side of this 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 thing right here right here well it, it within a week or two it cuts that rubber washer and you can see how it uh, already started beating these things up I didn't even get two weeks out of these valves here these are total junk these are total junk I won't I won't I got a whole bunch of these in their garbage uh, these are the brass ones that I bought these ones these ones work fine. They last a long time They're the exact same thing that I just replaced with Except for now They're stainless steel and these ones here, but I don't have to worry I solved the freezing problem by putting these two valves on here these two inch ball valves so I can close them up So water stays flowing past these valves when the pump is not in use which keeps these from freezing and because water is flowing through the entire system I don't have to worry about uh, it freezing anymore uh, another neat thing you take these and you put these I don't know if you can see this there's a bushing right here I drill these out and you put these bushings in here and these are from uh, Rainbird sprinklers they're the nozzles and you drill them out and tap them into these because if you don't this stainless steel valve stem right here wears this out and wallows it all out so you put these in there that spacer right there I mean that valve guide right there and drill it out and put that in there and then it wears out about three to five years you can just put a new one in there and it doesn't hurt this you can also get these in stainless steel now which I might be turning to but uh, I replaced this one right here because uh, on the other one, this bushing came loose and it beat the threads all up and beat the housing all up totally bad. Because uh, they used a pipe thread tool and pipe threads are tapered and they tapered it from this side. So it, it pounded it out. That's why, hence that's why I ground these off because I need the taper going this way so that it's pounding into the taper instead of the opposite. Here's the old one. This one's been going for 10 years now. Oops. Well, just about got my phone in the drink here. Okay. These are the rubber O-rings I use on the big valves to replace every about two years. Let's see here. It's, uh, where, okay, here's your gate valves. These gate valves right here, don't even mess with these either. I got several of these laying around and... You can't see it with the camera, but these things are split and cracked in the housing. They can't take the pressure at all. Plus, the inside uh, valve beats itself to death. These are no good. Don't use these. And don't use plastic parts. If you use plastic parts, you're going to be right back doing this again. Here's my pile of parts. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've got, I kind of know what I'm doing here. Okay, we're going to start them up. But I got this whole system, those are clamped down on these big two inch right here. 
and that keeps just enough water pressure in here so it's flowing past these valves and goes through the whole system this is really hard using a phone camera to do this holding it steady because I know how shaky cameras suck okay and see that keeps water flowing through the entire system where's it at there's my valve right there and I got another one right here and now I'm going to close this one off these are what I used to release the pressure in okay these are shut down now so the water will go up through the line there and up the hill and up the canyon 70 feet high okay this is the standpipe setup I have now and this has just worked out wonderful all metal uh, the only thing is plastic is that overflow pipe and I did have these drive pipes I switched over to steel there's the steel ones laying right there but unbelievably there was just tons of problems the pumps would run for a while and shut down sometimes they'd run five minutes and shut down sometimes they'd run four or five hours and then they'd shut down but I just could not get the bugs worked out of them so I went back to the plastic pipes and with these plastic pipes uh, the pumps have run flawlessly all summer long. I mean, they haven't been shutting down because of the, the harmonics that develop in the pipe. So now, okay, I'm going to shut these off all the way. Okay, now we're building, get a little pressure build up, just see if they'll take off. Now we'll get over here, we can watch the pressure start building. And it usually will build up to 30 PSI. It just takes a while. Yeah, none of these valves last very long. Oh, she's hitting hard now. But do not, I repeat, do not use plastic parts. Plastic parts are great if you want it to work for a couple of days in light duty, but uh, even with brass parts, you know, it, stuff wears out. Uh, there, there's a lot of forces at work on these ram pumps here. Uh, I've, I've replaced a lot of these fittings, even a couple of the steel ones, those uh, elbows right here. These ones, they cracked from the pressure, so I went to galvanize. But here they are. This is the new system. This is after 10 years. I don't know if I'll be leaving a bunch of stuff out, but putting these uh, two-inch shutoffs right here, the best thing I ever did, too, you know, because I just open them up and the pumps are instantly shut off, and then I can close them down and flow water throughout the whole system to keep it from freezing. Okay, well, we'll see how that goes.